Good morning, Good morning and welcome to our school mass. Today we celebrate Respect Life Month. Every year, the bishops of the United States call us to celebrate October as Respect Life Month. This year, the theme is Live the Gospel of Life. 25 years ago, Pope St. John Paul II wrote that the gospel of life is at the heart of Jesus' saving message to the world. In taking on human flesh, dwelling among us, and sacrificing his very life for our redemption, Christ reveals the profound dignity of every human person. This God-given dignity does not change with our state of life, stage of life, abilities, level of independence, or any other varying circumstance. Rather, it is rooted in the permanent fact that each of us is made in the image and likeness of God, created to share in the very life of God himself. The human person is a manifestation of God in the world, a sign of his presence, a trace of his glory. And we must reflect this truth in how we act and how we treat one another. Please stand for the entrance antiphon. <clears throat> Within your will, O Lord, all things are established, and there is none that can resist your will. For you have made all things, the heaven and the earth, and all that is held within the circle of heaven. You are the Lord of all. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you. Amen. 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 Our brothers and sisters, welcome. Father Chris here, and uh, we're celebrating Mass today for the 28th Wednesday of Ordinary Time. Uh, in addition for Respect Life Month, of which there is a whole lot of need for. Um, and also, I'm going to ask everybody, both at school and at home, if you will send me your guardian angels, since you can't be here in Mass today. And I promise you, I will send them back with a whole lot of extra blessings to help you with your work at home or at work at school. Guardian angel, at my side, go to the church for me. Kneel in my place at Holy Mass, where I desire to be. At offertory, in my stead, take all I am and own, and place it as a sacrifice upon the altar throne. At holy consecration's bell, adore with Sarah's love, my Jesus hidden in the host come down from heaven above. And when the priest communion takes, or bring my Lord to me, that his sweet heart may rest on mine and I his temple be. Everybody, again, welcome. Great to see you guys here today in the manner of speaking. Let's acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. May your grace, O Lord, we pray, at all times go before us and follow after, and make us always determined to carry out good works. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of Paul to the Galatians. Brothers and sisters, God's Spirit makes us loving, happy, peaceful, patient, kind, good, faithful, gentle, and self-controlled. There is no law against behaving in any of these ways. God's Spirit has given us life, and so we should follow the Spirit. But don't be conceited or make others jealous by claiming to be better than they are. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A responsorial psalm. Lord, you will show us the path of life. Lord, Lord you will show, will show us, us the path, path of life. life. Protect me, Lord God. I run to you for safety. And I have said, only you are my Lord. You, Lord, are all I want. You are my choice. 
and you keep me safe. Lord, Lord you will Lord, show us the path of life. I praise you, Lord, for being my guide. Even in the darkest night, your teachings fill my mind. I will always look to you as you stand beside me and protect me from fear. Lord, Lord you will you show us the path of life. You have shown me the path of life, and you make me glad by being near to me. Sitting at your right side, I will always be joyful. Lord, Lord you will show us the path of life. Please stand. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. Hallelujah. You have the words of everlasting life. Hallelujah, hallelujah. hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, If you love me, you will do as I command. Then I will ask the Father to send you the Holy Spirit, who will help you and always be with you. The Spirit will show you what is true. The people of this world cannot accept the Spirit because they don't see or know him. But you know the Spirit who is with you and will keep on living in you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. Well, welcome back, everybody. So good to see you guys here today. Um, so uh, it's very interesting, the, the, the two letters that we have today. Well, the letter from St. Paul to the Galatians, but also the Gospel passage where Jesus is talking about, um, where Jesus is talking about, sending us the Holy Spirit in essence. So I want to take two steps back just for a moment because uh, we also in our responsorial psalm we're asking God, Lord you will show us the path of life. So basically there's some things here, okay? So Jesus starts out by saying, if you love me, you will do as I command. All right, the word command is very interesting here, you know? If somebody asks you to do something, you now depending on who the person is, if somebody's asking you, like if your parents are asking you to take out the trash, then um, that might be more a command than an invitation. In other words, if a friend of yours says, hey, you just came out of my house, why don't you take out the trash? Well, you can say, well, this is your house. How about you take out the trash? You know, you can say that. You can be nice also and say, well, yeah, okay, sure. I'll take your trash out for you. You know, I'm not coming here to your house every day to take out your trash. Sorry, that's not happening. However, a command is when somebody has authority. Somebody can tell you something and you have to do what they're asking you to do. If it's not immoral or, or, or illegal, certainly. Um, uh, but at the same, not everything uh, illegal is moral, by the way, for you older kids, uh, much older ones as well. Uh, that's a reality of life. So the point is, if Jesus is commanding us to love, then we have to take a step back and say, okay, how do I do that? And he tells us, well, I'll send you the Holy Spirit to help you to understand what love is. And so we say, okay, well, does anybody else have a, a, a more fulfilling answer? Does anybody else have something that can give us maybe some extra details? And the answer is, of course, yes. St. Paul today is writing a letter to, hold on a second, I forgot already, the Galatians. He's been talking to the Galatians over, over a period of time. They didn't have email back in this day, okay? They didn't have email, they didn't have a cell phone, uh, they didn't have text, Twitter, tweeting, uh, any of the other forms of social media we use. So basically, if you could send somebody a letter, but it would take some time to get there, possibly. So, St. Paul sent the letter and he says, God's Spirit, so we're talking about, again, the same Holy Spirit Jesus just said he was going to send us and give us to help us on our path of life, to help us with what we're going to do in this world, is what he's talking about. But in particular, St. Paul says, God's Spirit makes us loving, happy, peaceful, patient, kind, good, faithful, gentle, and self-controlled. And I'm going to go through each one of these really quick in just a few seconds, because when you look at it, to be loving means all these things. We should, on one level, be happy to a certain extent. Look, if we're walking around all day long going, oh, my life is horrible, uh, there's something wrong. And probably we need to talk to our parents or a friend if we are a parent. Um, and so, so we shouldn't be happy necessarily every day because there are crazy things in our world and reasons not to be happy sometimes. But the Holy Spirit helps us to find ways to be happy. Peaceful, that we should have the sense of I'm doing what God is asking me to do. I'm following what my parents are asking me to do if I'm a child. Um, I'm helping people in my life to know that God loves them. If we do those things, if we're not lying, cheating, stealing, doing other things to hurt other people, then we should have a sense of peace inside. 
Patient. We need to be patient with other people, as Christians especially. If we believe in Jesus, we need to be um, patient with other people because some people don't see things the same way we do. They might not understand they're supposed to love us or people around them. Kind. Some people will always say, well, we ought to be kind. Yes, I agree. We should be kind. The Holy Spirit's telling us to be kind. <laughs> to be good and faithful to another person is to, is to make sure they kind of have what they need to maybe listen to them if they're talking to us and pay attention so we can be good and, and faithful to our teachers, to our parents, if we're doing what they're asking us to do. To be gentle. We, we have to be gentle with other people. We can't walk around tripping people or pushing them down. Uh, there's many other ways we can. We have to be gentle in how we speak to people with respect. Uh, even if we don't like somebody, that doesn't mean we talk to them. And many people in this world think it's okay. If I don't like you, I get to just say whatever. No, I don't get to say whatever. I, I'm, I'm called by Jesus to be not just nice, but loving and respectful, even if I don't agree with what you say. Okay, and then finally, self-control. Boy, that's huge. How many times do we just do things because a thought comes in our mind, hey, you know what, I'm going to do this thing. And I'm not even thinking about how I'm hurting 10 people around me by doing this thing. Hey, I want a candy bar, so let me just steal it, and then I get caught, and my parents get in trouble. No, don't do that. Don't do that. Ask your parents for money if you have to have a candy bar. Uh, and and, and self-control is saying, I don't have to have a candy bar uh, 20 times in a day. That's probably bad for your health. No, actually, I know it is, so don't do that either. So that's what the Lord is talking about in everything, that we follow the Holy Spirit, that we ask the Spirit to guide us every day to say, Holy Spirit, how can I do better today to love people in my life? That's also what prayer is, by the way. We pray to God, we pray to Jesus, we pray to the Holy Spirit, we pray to the Trinity, uh, Jesus Christ, the second person of the Trinity, God the Father, and, and the Holy Spirit. We have a lot of people we can ask for help, by the way. Uh, there's already three I've mentioned. So uh, may God continue to help you to know that you're loved. May God continue to help you to follow the gifts of the Spirit. Uh, and, and may we always, in everything, do the best we can to love everybody because Jesus, who is God, commands us. He tells us this has to be done. Our brothers and sisters, it's up to us to how to figure out how to do that. And we have plenty of people around us to ask for help if we're confused. But I think you guys get this. So let's go with that. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now, brothers and sisters, at this time, we're going to lift up our intentions to our Lord. Please respond. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For Pope Francis that the Holy Spirit may always guide him as he leads the Catholic Church. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. For all elected officials throughout their service, may they respect the dignity of each person. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. For the citizens of the United States of America, may we protect and defend the sanctity of human life from the moment of conception until natural death with strong voices, gentle hands, and loving hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For St. Mary Magdalene's students, as brothers and sisters in Christ, may we be united to one another in faith, hope, and love. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all our teachers at St. Mary Magdalene, especially for our math teacher, Mr. Wirtz, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the poor, the homeless, and all who are in need, may they receive love, respect, and the material assistance they need. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the special intention of 7th grade homeroom 34. For those, especially our loved ones, who have lost homes and property due to the hurricanes in the 2020 season. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intention for which this Mass is being offered, special intention for J.A. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our loved ones who have died and for the souls in purgatory, may they enjoy eternal rest in heaven. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord Jesus, we know you hear all of the intentions that we have, all the things that happen in our lives. We do ask that you keep pouring out your Holy Spirit upon us so we can really know inside what's right and what's wrong and that you would give us the courage to do what is right every day, every moment of every day. And we thank you for that gift of the Spirit and we ask for your blessings always in your name. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. God bless you all. And thank you, Ms. Dean, for reading for us today.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. For to the earth and work of human hands it will become for us the breath of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. For to the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice in your hands. hands. Praise, Praise the Lord, Lord in his name. For our good and the of the whole church. church. Accept, O oh Lord, the prayers of your faithful with the sacrificial offerings that through these acts of devotedness, we may pass forward to the glory of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift. Since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the eyes. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you in a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is a chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Gregory our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy in us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, the blessed Apostles, with Saint Mary Magdalene, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, come thy will be done, done on earth, on earth as, as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread, bread and, and forgive us our trespasses. trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, it is not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin 
and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, kingdom the power, power and the glory are yours, yours now, now and forever. And forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who will live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of Christ. Peace, peace, peace. everybody. Peace, 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 peace. Lamb of God, take, take away, away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. <laughs> Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord not worthy that, Lord, that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall heal you. For those of you at home or in class, please join me in an act of spiritual communion. Uh, my Jesus, I believe that you are in the blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. As though you have already come, I embrace you, and unite myself entirely to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Amen indeed. Let us pray. We entreat your majesty most humbly, O Lord, that as you feed us with the nourishment which comes from the most holy body and blood of your Son, so you may make us sharers of his divine nature, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Almighty God, bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. God. Saint Michael, Michael, the archangel, angel, defend us in battle. battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. To thou, O Prince, the heavenly host, the power of God, cast into hell Satan, and all the evil spirits, crawl throughout the world, seeking the world's souls. Amen. God bless you all, and have a great, uh, great day, and enjoy it.